I figured I'd do a quick video on how to saddle stitch and lock your stitches down properly. As always, you can find both patterns and artwork from my videos on my Etsy shop. There'll be a link up here somewhere and for a limited time on my Patreon. And if you want to help support the channel even more, I've been designing some shirts. You can find links to those shirts uh, below this video somewhere down here. When prepping your needles for stitching, it's a good idea to go through the eyelet and then put the needle back through the thread. And then you can pull it into like a loose knot that keeps the thread from coming out and keeps the other end back from your needle. As always, this video is sponsored by Lonsdale Leather. I got my stitching pony and needles and thread all from Lonsdale. So give them a call if you need any of these supplies. This is a really straightforward video. So I'm just gonna show you a bunch of different angles so there's no confusion. You're putting two needles. They're all connected to the same piece of thread and they are each going into the hole and through. Once you go through the hole, you wrap the thread in opposite directions. So here I'm going over on the left, under on the right and pull. Put your needles through. Over on the left, under on the right and pull. What this is doing is creating a knot in the middle as if you are doing the first step in tying your shoes and that helps you keep the thread down tight and stops them from loosening as you stitch. I don't do this all the time, it really depends on the project. A lot of people use chisel punches that are angled and so when you're doing this, making sure that you're going over on one side and under on the other on every single pass will make sure that all your stitches are laid out really nicely and slightly angled to go with your angled chisel punch. If you were to alternate, uh, so every stitch you did over on one side and then under on that same side and then over on that side and under on that same side, your stitches would not lay out perfectly on a nice little angle. Instead they would be straight but they'd be alternating. Um, one would be straight above and one would be straight below, like slightly staggered back and forth, which may be a look that you're going for, who knows. And if there's still any confusion, this is kind of what your stitches will look like if you don't have any leather. So this is all you're doing, really easy, just some loops. Until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.